All right, so this is gonna be a quick, quick little job. Very quick, actually. It's gonna be maybe a three-dayer. One day for prep, and uh, next day will be pour. Essentially, brand new driveway, and then that will be a grass area. So there's only gonna be one driveway. And we're gonna keep going in here, and then boom. This will also be new concrete, same level as this and uh, this will all be ripped out and replaced with just grass. So, all in all, pretty simple. But that's all for me. Ready for the time lapse? Let's get it. we got to do on Monday is <clears throat> take this fence and close it put a little gate everything's good to go and then this was done very beautifully this was done very beautifully everything is good here now the one thing that we made a mistake on and this is a learning lesson for me as well I'll get to that in a little bit but check this out So this was done perfect, right? Perfect. Let's say you're doing a six inch pad, right? The way that you really get an accurate measurement of how much concrete to order, and I learned this today, is you need to set a string from here all the way over there. And you need to do that running along. And then you got to check the base rock. How much, how thick is the base rock here compared to the thickness of the wood? If it's six inches, then you're good, right? Over there, six inches, you're good. So typically on the boards, where the boards are, it's going to be fine. It's going to be around six inches. But where I made the mistake, and I let control go to my project manager, my employee, and she did the math on it, right? I made the mistake by not double checking her work because she's new to this. She doesn't really know what she's doing. I thought she's got it, no big deal, easy math. But today I learned. You always have to take the string and tie it from one side all the way to the other and then measure the distance with the tape measure in the middle, in the center, in the corners to make sure it's the same exact measurement as here. Six inches, six inches, six inches, six inches, six inches. Everywhere has to be six inches. What happened today, we estimated 12 yards, right? We ordered 13 and a quarter. Now, because the base rock was installed, we did have enough base rock everywhere. But the thing is, in the middle, it was eight inches. So all the material goes right in the middle, and then we're left here with a little shortage which you saw on the time lapse. And it sucks because then I gotta go buy material. I gotta go get uh, a pallet of concrete from Home Depot and then we gotta come here, we gotta mix it and they gotta wait. I had to pay three guys overtime to do this because they had to sit here and wait until it dried because they can't broom it. And uh, it's just not ideal. So every single time from now on, I will definitely be 
measuring the distance between the top of the board and the bottom all the way throughout the entire driveway to make sure that the math on the concrete does not get messed up. Super important lesson learned today by me and it won't happen again. And that's what you gotta do. This is why you follow me. This is why you're looking at my YouTube videos because I get to share my mistakes with you so you don't have to. And here's another thing. Make sure when you order the concrete that you order the right mix. Instead of having pea gravel or three quarter, make sure it's the one that you need. Previously, I shared in the Goat Gang. We did a really small job. It was a slam dunk. It was supposed to be $1,100 profit. And uh, it wasn't because I ordered the wrong mix. Stupid mistake, yes. But, you know, little mistakes like that can cost you quite a bit of money. So pay attention. Focus. Be very anal. Go around. Measure everything. Because... You know, employees can make mistakes, but when it comes to doing stuff like this, you don't really have that much room for error. And you're going to get whacked if you do that over and over. Saturday, chilling here, making this video, drinking a Topo Chico with some lemon. Definitely learned a lot. Not going to make that mistake again. Um... I made it as clear as possible with that illustration. The line has to go from board to board and they have to match up the measurements from the top of the string to the bottom of the base rock. It's got to be six inches everywhere and then you can do your math based on how much concrete to order and you're, and you're good. You're not going to be making mistakes. Is what it is. So now, keeping it real with you, I had to share that so going forward, you don't make that mistake. And now, I won't make that mistake. Employee won't make that mistake. We're not going to make that mistake again because that could have cost a lot of money to fix. Okay? That could have been a big problem. A big problem. And I got to tell you, it is my birthday. In two days, your boy is going to turn 29 years old on Monday. 29 crazy huh i was born may 20th 1990 in the little little puke stain called armenia and i came here and now it's my birthday and i'm in america and it's a great time so i want to celebrate with you for sure without a doubt so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave a link below it's an offer you take it if you want it sign up for the goat gang all right and I'm going to give you any, any program that you want included, along with a quick little five-minute um, Skype session. We're going to jump on. I'm going to meet you in person, and we're going to talk about your business, what we're going to do, how everything's going to go, and uh, basically interact real quick. It's going to be quick. I don't have, I don't have time to do a 30-minute session. You join. You get any program you want. And we jump on a quick five-minute phone call on Facebook, video, and we talk to each other, get acquainted, see what you're about, see what I'm about, and meet, man. We need connections. I need new friends. I need new people in my life, all right? And I will, I'll be working Monday. I'll be working Tuesday. you be like, what are you going to do for your birthday, T? You're going to go out and get drunk? No! I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing YouTube videos probably. I'm going to be working. Monday's, Monday's a work day. People celebrate too much, man. You don't need to celebrate that much. One of the guys in the group, his name is Sean, he was like, you know, I'm getting burned out. What am I going to do? Blah, 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 blah. I, mean, I need a vacation. You don't need a vacation. You need to work. You don't need any vacation. Okay? The vacation is going to be when you go to a trip that's business and it's not in your hometown. That's a vacation. So in July, I'm going to be going to Miami for the Grand Cardone Boot Camp. And you'd be like, well, why do you keep going to these boot camps? Dude, it's fun. It's fun for me to do this because I get around good people. That's a vacation for me, you know? So am I going to take the day off on Monday? Hells to the no. I'm going to be working my bones off, okay? I just closed the deal today for $36,000. Um, in about two, three days, I'm going to go close the deal for another maybe 67000 And we're just going to keep closing deals. The best thing I could do for me, myself, and my birthday 
is close more deals, meet more of you, interact with more of you on a personal level, get to know you one another, and just have a lot more friends. Cool? That's the end of the video, man. I'll see you later. Hope this video helped. Don't make these concrete mistakes because it will cost you. Peace.